Hey everyone, so this video is about the book, The Snowball, Warren Buffett and the Business of Life, written by Alice Schroeder. Now this book, as the name of the book suggests, it's about Warren Buffett and it's about his life. Now they call it The Snowball, or the reason why this book is called The Snowball is because it talks about how Warren Buffett was able to create such great capital from nothing. So he basically, just like a snowball, you start off with one flake and then two flakes and then three flakes and then more or less you take that and you roll it and you roll it and roll it and then it, sooner or later it becomes a big ball. And so that's kind of what this is all about and how Warren Buffett was able to amass such a great net worth. So personally, I thought the, his childhood was the most interesting aspect. So I mainly focused on his childhood because I was the most curious about what Warren was like in his child. And some of the things that were were very interesting to me and that stood out was that he was he was a very mischievous guy. So I wouldn't have guessed, you know, just because I always watch videos of him and he's always so calm, relaxed, very well spoken, but I would have never guessed that he was kind of very mischievous when he was a kid. He was, uh, you know, hanging out with some guys and he was just kind of uh, thinking of ways to hustle. Maybe not in the most ethical ways, but uh, yeah, just that that was really interesting. So his uh, childhood, in addition to that, he didn't really do well in school. He, he was getting C's and D's and it's it just kind of shows that uh, for yourself or if you know someone that, oh, you have to do well in school in order to uh, become successful in life, well, that's not necessarily the case. Warren Buffett got C's and D's. Uh, and partially that's because he wasn't interested in it and he was just so focused on making money. And one of the <laughs> another thing that I found very interesting about him was he was always fascinated with learning how to make money, uh, not so that he could spend it, but just so he can have this sort of initial capital and then just from there grow it, just as the name of the book says, it's it's a snowball. So he wanted to create that snowball. So he took, uh, he got uh, this one job delivering newspapers and he had some other jobs or side hustles. And it's very funny, he actually bought this one book called A Thousand Ways to Make a Thousand Dollars. And then that's kind of what sparked his business ideas or got him to be interested in business. And for a long time, actually, Warren Buffett has been well into business or well into learning about business ever since he was a yeah, young kid. And he's always been in, into math or, well, he was good with math. So. That's uh, one of the things about him that I find very, very fascinating. So myself, I always watch his videos. Well, not always, but I, I frequently watch his videos. Uh, he's a really good uh, guru. Like he, he talks not only about business, but he, he's very wise on life as well. And that's what I really like about him. Not only is he wise about investment, investing or investments, he's also wise on life. So if you ever listen to uh, some of the uh, things that he says when people ask him questions about, you know, what should I do? Uh, where do you see the economy going? Uh, should I take this job? I examples, thing, things like that. Just the answers that he gives are very uh, well thought out and very, uh, very solid answers. So there's really no wonder as to why he's called the Oracle of Omaha. Right. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, check out my website at www.bookstakeaway.com for other books that I've reviewed. Uh, if you're interested in the book, there's a link down below. And yeah, thank you for watching. And if you are interested in getting future videos, uh, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.